Steve Beattie's 26 suspension offers the best in knowledge and experience. He is well known for building and tuning flat track race suspensions and MX to DTX conversions. However, Steve also builds race tuned engines and works on MX suspension setups at his shop in the Petrolia area. Steve is probably best known as a champion competitor with an illustrious career in Canadian flat track racing as well as racing south of the border. He has been racing pro since the age of 14. To say Steve knows a thing or two about the finer points of flat track racing would be a gross understatement. Beatty was first introduced to flat track racing by fellow Hall of Famer John Parker. He was a friend of his dad's and he was the guy who got him out to the dirt track. He started racing at the age of 11 in Medina, New York on a TT style flat track aboard a Honda CR85. His Canadian career started in 1986 when he turned 13 and progressed through the ranks quickly, turning expert in 1988. Steve's U.S. pro career started in 1989, and he currently has been racing motorcycles for 34 years. Steve is a seven-time Canadian national champion, CMA national champion in 1992, 93, 95, and 97. He was awarded the White Memorial Trophy in 1993 and again in 1995, which is for the best performance by a Canadian rider in all disciplines, but later changed to the best performance by a number one plate holder. In 1995, he was also the Canadian National Ice Racing Champion, as well as being the recipient of the Ambassador's Award, along with Miguel Duhamel for exceptional recognition at the international level. In the U.S., Steve won the AMA Grand National at Lake Odessa, Michigan in 1995, placed second at the AMA Grand National Short Track at Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 2003, and took a third place at the AMA Grand National Half Mile at Columbus, Ohio in 2002, and won the U.S. Grand National Mile at Lexington, Kentucky in 2002. During his dirt track career, Steve rode for many teams, including John Parker Racing from 1986 to 1989, Dealey Harley-Davidson from 1989 to 1998, and 2003 to 2006. He also rode for GCR Racing in Peoria, Illinois for 2000 and 2001, Johnny Goat in Richmond, Virginia in 2002 to 2004, and Kurt Beeger Racing in 2005 to 2006. In Supermoto, Steve raced for Inglis Cycle Racing from 2003 to 2007. There were other flat track and Supermoto national titles, including the CMRC Canadian National Champion in 1999 and 2005, and the Flat Track Canada National Champion in 2016. The 2016 championship wasn't without incident, as the newly crowned flat track champ spent some time in hospital recovering from serious injuries suffered at the final round of the national at Oshwegan Speedway. Beatty's crash with his Kurt Beeger Racing Honda single occurred just after the start of the final Expert Open class race of the year. Exiting the second turn a few positions into the still tightly bunched pack, Beatty went into a speed wobble, fell along the edge of the track's outside retaining wall, and was struck by two other racers. His injuries included a broken collarbone, broken left hand, and two broken vertebrae in his neck. This is the fourth time that Beatty has suffered serious neck injuries in a motorcycle racing-related incident. Prior to the incident at Oshwegan, Beatty was in the midst of a very successful summer of racing and garnered enough points, even though he didn't finish the race, to win the championship and number one plate. Steve identifies his best trait as being fearless and second best as the ability to forget pain. Over his long career, he has been involved in addition to flat track racing with ice racing, supermoto, road racing, motocross, mountain biking, and sprint triathlon. 
There have been many influential people that have played a part throughout his career. Mom and dad and all his family, wife Michelle and son Ryan, as well as John Parker, John Cornwell, Brian Olson, and Kurt Beeger. There have been many people who have been a part of Steve's racing success, but these are the key people. Steve's most memorable ride was winning the AMA Grand National in 1995. He came from 13th on the first lap to win the race against the absolute best riders in the U.S. Everyone talks about winning the championship, he says, but really, I'm not too focused on that. I try to take it a race at a time, a bike at a time, a session at a time. We will see what happens at the end of the season.